Hey y'all and welcome back to another video to my Sims family. Hello, happy new year. It's been a minute, but we are back again today with another Sims video and this is something different. It is a Photoshop with me. And today we are going to be creating Iceland Winters for her, for her photo shoot called Icy Babes. So this is because it is winter time and anytime it's winter i think of things blue and i thought of the name iceland so yes her name quite literally means winter winter but um you know that's fine it sounds cute so to start things off we have to create our sim so we're in create a sim and Iceland has three outfits. The first one that we are working on is just an all black outfit with blue hair and blue eyeshadow. As you will see, her outfits will be pretty simple because that's just what I wanted. And that's kind of how I decorate my Sims. If you've noticed some of my previous creative Sims or just seen any Sims that I have in my game, they do not have a lot going on. I absolutely love the blue of this hair and everything about Iceland and everything in this video is CC. I will do my best to link all of it. And I will also do my best to tell you about what I did. I should start off by saying though that this is not a tutorial. I am not a Photoshop expert. I am strictly a beginner. I just thought that this was fun to do and I wanted to show you the process of me doing it. So you know if you're here to learn, deeply learn, this is not the video for you but if you want to have fun and hang out, hello, welcome. So as you can see, we did the first outfit, um, blue hair, black outfit, simple makeup. We're moving on to the second one, which this one is a blonde hair um, on a white outfit and blonde hair on a white outfit and a white shoe. Again, simple makeup. I absolutely love it. The makeup that I use in my games is pretty much all of the same. If I do an eye, the eye is pretty dramatic and I do like a simple lip with like that replicates like brown lip liner and a pink gloss. I think it's super cute. I, I just love it. Um, I gave her some nails, which I wish in this game you could zoom in on the nails, but know that they are there. And I I start out with some jewelry. third outfit I decided to do black hair put it up in a bun and she has on a blue outfit so I tried to like stagger the outfits in a certain way to where it gives the theme of silver and blue and white but I had to throw in some black because that's all that I had in my game I will say I this I think I love this outfit the most it's either between the white one or this one that I love the most but I definitely love the hair and the dark eye makeup um like the smoky look i think looks so cute and i love the lip also i did download a vitilago skin because i try to be as diverse as possible in my games and i realized i didn't have anything like this so i found it i downloaded it off of the sims resource which is primarily where i get all of my cc except for hair and a couple of other things i do have a video on my channel where i talk about the cc that i downloaded but i don't believe i have any links in that video but they are listed in the description box they're just not linked so you could take what i listed and just pop it into google and it will come up this outfit i absolutely love it is cropped you know is she supposed to be winter it kind of does defeat the purpose because why are you wearing cropped in the winter time but also it's sim so we're going to look past it um i will say though that originally this photo shoot was supposed to be outside in the snow in mount komorebi but it just was not working out so i had to bring it inside after create a sim we move on to creating the uh, backdrop the photo shoot area i picked one of my previous builds my uh brooklyn brownstone and there's a third floor in that house that i never used i took the third floor and made it into a photo shoot again very simple um i just put a fireplace put a chair and then to get to this position so now we are actually moving into the taking of the photos so i did slow the footage down for this so what i what you will need is the andrew post player and the teleporter um i will have that linked in the description box but you're going to place the teleporter where you want the sim to be i wanted her to sit on the bench or on the stool so i placed the teleporter in the middle i teleported my sim after i teleported my sim I clicked on the pose that i wanted i paused the game and i angled the camera so i will have um website links as to how you can do this but when you angle your camera in order to save the image you want to click control five six seven eight or nine you can do multiple angles so if you see my cc builds and how the intro it goes through multiple angles that's what i do 
I go to one pose, hit control five, go to another angle. I mean, not pose angle, hit control six, go to another angle, hit control seven. That is, you know, how I do that. So since I knew I was going to Photoshop all these together, I needed all of the angles for the photos to be the same. So got the angle, hit control five. Um, it'll save it and then um, I press play so that she could go through the poses and then as she posed I just hit C to take a screenshot so I hope that that made sense so again you're going to download pose player you're going to place the teleporter and teleport your sim into the position that you want them to be you're going to click on the pose that you want to use you're going to pause the game angle the camera in the position that you want it to be in you're going to save that position that camera position by using controls five through nine and then after that you're just going to hit the number that you want either five six seven eight or nine to get your pose press play so that she can move or your sim can move through the poses and then hit c to take a screenshot so I will also put that in the description box if that was a little bit confusing. So yeah, so that was it for the poses. I move into Lightroom. Um, I usually hit auto and just let it like adjust the lighting in the photo for me. Sometimes I will tweak it a little bit uh, if Lightroom doesn't do it the exact way that I want it. I'm not a Lightroomologist, so I just mess with the levels until they look good enough. After Lightroom, I go to Photoshop. So I open up all my images in Photoshop. And this is the point where, again, I say I am a beginner. So my method may be a little bit long or chaotic, but it's just what I do for now. So first I open all my images and then I adjust the image size to fit a YouTube thumbnail. Then I use the photo um, of her in a white outfit as the main background. After that, for the following two photos of her in the black outfit and of the blue outfit, I select mask. I mean, I use select the mask by hitting select in the menu ribbon. Then I click subject so that Photoshop automatically highlights slash outlines Iceland. And then I fine tune the details to make sure that what I didn't want included in the masking wasn't included. Then I hit layer mask. After that, she will be outlined onto a transparent background. And then I know after that, I click like the image of the link that's between the two photos and the layer and I combine them. After I did that, I clicked and dragged the layer over into the first image and then that popped Iceland in. And then I adjusted the size, um, you know, the image size to be the image that I want it to be. And that's it. And then I did that for the other sim as well. It's a game. It's not funny. When you try to change the subject, oh, it's not funny. I feel like I'm emotional. It's not funny, but you act like it's such a joke. And we both know you don't talk about your emotions, you just go and ride the way. But I'm drowning here in this ocean. Now, because of how the first Iceland is sitting, um, I had to adjust her foot. I had to put her foot in front of the other photo. So what I did was I copied the original image 
I masked her foot using the lasso tool and then I placed that image or that layer on top of all of the other layers um, down at the bottom right. I did have to go back and um, re layer mask them all or like you know do yeah like do the layer mask because I forgot to include the shadows that are at their feet um when I didn't have it it looked very odd and they looked very ill placed so I just basically at the end went back and sped through and added the layers at the bottom of their feet and I think it made it look a lot better Then at the end, all I did was add some text. I put her name. Now I, I made the text look a little bit like Chrome and I didn't include the footage of when I did it cause it took me a minute. But all I did was I changed the color to be like, like a, a grayish color, like a light grayish blue. And then I, pl I played with the bevel and emboss settings until I got it to where I wanted it to be. So, you know, like I said, this is not a tutorial. I'm just telling you what I did. I hope that I explained everything really well. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I just want it to be short and sweet and to the point. I hope that everyone is having a lovely 2022. Thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate you. I appreciate everyone that's new and everyone who has been here with me for a while. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Oh.